Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 10, lesson 2, volume of cones. After this lesson, you need to be able to use the formula for the volume of a cone to find the volume of a cone given its radius or diameter and the height. Let's learn. Volume of cones. A cone is a three-dimensional figure with one circular base connected by a curved surface to a single point called the apex. The volume of a cone is one-third of the volume of a cylinder that would have the same base area and height. So if you can imagine, instead of it being a cone pyramid type shape, if we had a cylinder where this is kind of going to the center of that, this cone would be one third of the volume of the cylinder that would take up the same base and same height. So using our formula to find a volume of a cone, what we can do is take the formula for a volume of a cylinder, which we can see right here, pi r squared h, that's a cylinder, and then we can multiply that by one third. Or instead of doing times one third, we can also think of it as a cylinder divided by three. Example one, find volume of cones. Find the volume of the cone, express your answer in terms of pi. Since we're given the radius and the height, use the volume formula v equals one third pi r squared h. So here we can see we have our cone, our radius here is 3, our height is 6. Let's plug those values in. 3 is our radius, so it goes in for r. 6 is our height. Just like we were doing with cylinders, let's multiply it out. 3 squared is 9 times 6 is 54. Now here we can do, instead of multiplying by pi or by 1 third, this is where we can think of multiplying by 1 third as the same as dividing by 3. So 54 times 1 third is 18. Or I could just do 54 divided by 3, and I still get 18. So either way, I have 18 pi. Last, just like we were doing with cylinders, we need to decide, are we keeping the pi symbol in the answer, or are we multiplying it out using a calculator? It says in terms of pi, so we need to leave it in the answer. So the volume of this cone is 18 pi cubic inches. Check your understanding. Find the volume of this cone. Express your answer in terms of pi. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said 336 pi cubic millimeters, or you could have wrote mm to the third power. Volume is going to equal to pi times r squared times height. And instead of one third, I'm just going to say divided by three. It gives us the same thing. So r squared, six squared is 36 times the height is 28, and then still divided by 3, and also with a pi. I'm going to use the commutative and associative properties to kind of swing some of these things around and do different things first. So instead of multiplying by 28 and then dividing by 3, I'm going to take 36 divided by 3 and get 12. And then when I do that, 12 times 28 ends up being 336. And since it says in terms of pi, I can just leave my pi symbol. So 336 pi cubic millimeters was my answer. Example two, find volume of cones. A cone-shaped paper cup is filled with water. The height of the cup is nine centimeters and the diameter is eight centimeters. What is the volume of the paper cup? Round to the nearest tenth. So we can start with our volume formula, cylinder divided by three or one third pi r squared h. Plugging in my values, I need the radius but I'm given the diameter, so if the diameter is 8, the radius is 4, and then my height was 9. So r of 4, height of 9. Multiplying this out, 16, 4 squared is 16. If I just do 9 divided by 3, then that's 3. 16 times 3 is 48. Now, am I multiplying it out or keeping my pi symbol? Rounding to the nearest tenth tells me I'm multiplying it out. So using a calculator, I can do 48 times pi and get 150.8. So the volume of this paper cup would be about 150.8 cubic centimeters. Or maybe they would ask, this cone could hold 150.8 cubic centimeters of water. Check your understanding. Find the volume of the cone in the situation. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have found that it was 21.2 cubic inches. We're given a radius of 1.5, so volume equals pi times 1.5 
squared times 9. So there's my cylinder divided by 3, since it's a cone. 9 divided by 3 is just 3. 1.5 squared is 2.25. 2.25 times 3 is 6.75. Then it says round to the nearest tenth, so let's use a calculator to multiply it out. 6.75 times pi is 21.2, when rounded to the nearest tenth.